So let's go through this one more time. This is how I came up with the answer. You take the width times the resolution, the height times the resolution, and it will give you the pixels that are across, or the width, and the pixels tall, or the height. It doesn't matter if you do the height or the width first. Just make sure that you keep the pixels separate. You don't want to multiply 504 times 936. That will give you a completely different answer. We'll talk about at the end of this slideshow. It's called a megapixel. Uh, so for now, you just want to decide how many pixels are across and how many pixels are tall. That will enable you to decide how big this image can be if it's going to go on a monitor or if it's going to be printed. In this case, 72 ppi refers to monitor or web resolution. Anything that's going to be on a display device would look perfectly acceptable if you printed it at 7 inches by 13 inches. If you resampled it and you squeezed 300 pixels per inch, you would create printing resolution. Uh, but don't worry about that yet. We'll talk about it later in the slideshow. I would like you to attempt number two. I'm going to pause the video. When you're ready, hit play, and I will go through the answer. Okay. If an image is five and a half inches by eight inches at 150 ppi, how many pixels is it horizontally and vertically? Uh, first, you're probably saying, well, why is it 150 ppi? You'd be talking about 72 and 300. Sometimes we can adjust the resolution depending on the viewing distance. If something is going to be printed and viewed from 30 feet away, we can get away with 15 ppi. You can even get away with 30 ppi. PPI if it's on a billboard because you're so far away from it. So for our example in class, we're going to just define printing and web resolution, but just because we say 72 and 300 a lot doesn't mean that we couldn't have 150 PPI for some specific resolution. So let's go through the answer. We're going to multiply 5.5 times 150. It equals 825 pixels. The vertical is 8 inches times 150 resolution, size times resolution, comes out to 1200 pixels. So this image would be 825 pixels across and 1200 pixels tall. Can you figure out how big an image is if we know how many pixels it contains? The short answer is no, because just knowing how many pixels doesn't mean we know what the resolution is. So the resolution might be 72, it might be 300, maybe it's 12, who knows. But if we don't know both of those, we cannot determine the actual size. Uh, so if you know the number of pixels, you can determine how big it may be. You could say at 72 it will be this size, at 300 it will be that size. Uh, but you do need to have both the resolution and the number of pixels to figure out how many inches an image would be. The formula for calculating the size of an image, if you know the number of pixels and you know the resolution, is the width divided by the resolution times the height divided by the resolution. So for this example, if my image is 1200 pixels by 2400 pixels and I want to print it, I want it to come out of my printer at home and I want the image to look great, I'm going to divide it by 300 ppi because 300 is standard printing resolution. So 1200 pixels divided by 300 and 2400 pixels divided by 300 should create an image that when printed will be 4 inches by 8 inches.